Hey guys, um, it's been a while since I've made a shooting related video. Uh, since the last time I made a shooting related video, I've gotten some good news back from uh, from my uh, wildlife department. Uh, each year, I don't know, it should I don't know of any states that don't do this, but each year, me personally, since I'm a uh, I'm an, uh, a hunter, I put in for the Oklahoma um, controlled hunts, and it's, it's it's a draw it's a drawing, and you just put your name in. Pay your fee, and that's five dollars, and uh, you get to pick out which hunt you want to go on. And if your name's drawn, then uh, then they'll pick the hunt, um, w one of the hunts that, that you put as your options, and you get to go on it. And luckily for me, I got drawn for um, for Cimarron County, which is in the Panhandle of Oklahoma, their pronghorn hunt, and uh, that's a pretty special privilege because, or considering that uh, it's a once in a lifetime hunt. Uh, meaning if you're an Oklahoma State resident um, you can only get drawn once for this hunt so if this hunt will be my only hunt ever in Oklahoma to hunt pronghorn unless obviously they change the rules somewhere down the line you know if we get a a huge population of uh, pronghorn or something like that but that's not really gonna probably happen so but anyways this is a once in a lifetime hunt I got drawn for a doe tag which is kind of disappointing but considering it's my only hunt that I want to get to hunt pronghorn I get to hunt a doe but you know, it's still a really good privilege. Uh, being a deer hunter, never shot anything, any other big game other than a deer, so pronghorn will be something special. And uh, uh, Cimarron County is r really pretty up there. But anyways, um, I've got a question for you guys. Uh, I'm contemplating on which rifle to bring on the hunt, and noted that these pronghorn are only maybe they're about the same size as a whitetail here or smaller which means a buck may weigh 150 at the most uh... they're really stocky but they're short so they're really muscular looking but they're short and the does will probably weigh i don't know probably two-thirds the weight of a male so maybe 100 pounds at the most uh... whereas whitetails can get up to 200 pound males and 150 pound females and that's field dress that's not probably their their real weight but that's after they're uh, field dressed and stuff so anyways um, my big, my question is, I recently acquired this, uh, Mossberg 300, um, 300 ATR, I think is the name. If it's not correct, I'll uh, annotate it, but it's a Mossberg rifle, uh, chambered in 308 Winchester, and I got it for deer hunting. My girlfriend actually bought this for my birthday for me, so, uh, it's a pretty sweet rifle. I've shot probably over 60 rounds through it. Uh, it's a tap driver. It shoots. Um, it can shoot MOA groupings uh, for a inexpensive rifle. It's it's definitely a uh, definitely a uh, option if you're looking into one. But um, the ballistics on this are, mm, I mean, for long range hunting, uh, they're good. I mean, they're okay, but um, compared to some other car uh, cartridges, they're not the best. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys quickly. Uh, I found this app just the other day. It's an iPhone app. Um, I'm sure they might have a version for uh, for Android, but I'm not sure if you can read that. If you can't, then I'm going to look like a dumbass. But uh, Let's see here. Yeah, it's kind of coming in. There's a 308 Winchester, 150 grain, which is what I'm shooting. XP3 Winchester. Um, sided in at... Uh, Sighted in at 100 yards, it shoots three and a half inches low at 200, 13 inches low at 300. Now, most likely hunting pronghorn, that's going to be my range, two to 300. If I get in, if I get closer than 200 uh, yards, I'll be lucky. So I'm looking at that's a 10 inch drop, and in, over that 100 yards, and even more and more and more once you get further uh, back. But uh, oh, my camera's doing some weird stuff. But anyways, that's that. Uh, that's that on the on the 308. Um, one of my uh, co-workers heard that I'd got drawn for this hunt, so he's like, "Hey, I got a pretty badass rifle. You can try out. Um, you can try out and go shoot it. And if you want to take it, that's fine. I don't mind." And it's a, uh, you know, I've never I've never been exposed to this cartridge, but it's a uh, 300 Winchester Short Mag, which is on the left. Uh, hopefully that shows up well. Um, on the left, it's a Winchester uh, round, factory load. Uh, I forget, I think it's like silver tip or something like that. It's a, it's a, I think it has a polymer coating on the tip. Uh, 
and if you look closely, the the, the uh, projectile size is virtually the same. But it might be hard to tell on this. The case length is a little bit longer, and it's uh, thicker. It's it's wi it's wider, and I'm assuming it holds more powder. And I know it holds more powder because it has more velocity. So, um, uh, and this particular rifle is a. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. T uh, Tika T3 T I K K A T3. It's a pretty sweet rifle. I can tell just by handling it. Um, it's got a pretty nice scope on it. Uh, I guess this is his primary deer hunt rig, and I think he shoots uh, some competitions with it as well. He's big into competitions. But, um, anyways, the ballistics on this. Uh, the ballistics on this particular cartridge are seem to be a lot better for what I'm going to be doing with it. Uh, Sighted in at uh, 100 yards, it's only dropping off six inches. Oh, I'm shaking. It only, it only drops off six inches from two to three hundred yards. Now that's uh, that's pretty that's pretty good. That's pretty significant, especially considering my uh, range finding. You know, might not be close enough, and I need to be able to have a tighter grouping rifle uh, to make up for my mistakes. You know, um, if you're a hunter, I guess you understand that. But. Um, Anyways, that's a pretty cool app. You guys could check it out if you uh, if you're into ballistics and you know shooting long range and stuff like that. It would really help. Um, okay. Anyways, I don't know if I even stated my question yet. I'm kind of rambling on, but my question is, what do you guys think between taking these two rifles? The reason why I really wanted to take that Mossberg is because I had not killed anything with it yet. I just got it. My girlfriend got it for me. It'd be really nice to uh, kill something with it. Uh, you know, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a three away. It's plenty enough to, to take down a pronghorn. Um, or should I take this 300 Winchester short mag that my, uh, friend, uh, let me borrow? Um, you know, it's kind of a hard decision for me, but I can take them both. I mean, in, in the end, it doesn't really matter because they're both, I mean, it's kind of six one half or half dozen the other. It's, they're going to kill it either way. I'm not worried about that. I'm just... I'm just contemplating on whether that, uh, you know, five to six inches of difference, or four to four to five inches of difference, at that hundred yards is going to make a difference. You know, uh, I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with pronghorn hunting or not, but I mean, it's kind of something I, I need to consider before I head out. My hunt is uh, mid-September, just around the corner. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this video quality has has improved, um, uh, pixel-wise. You know, my camera's kind of doing some funny things, but. I bought a new camera. I bought a Canon. Uh, what is this? SX40 HS. Uh, shoots 1080p video, 35 optical zoom. It's a pretty sweet camera. So I bought it just for this hunt. So you guys get to see some hunt footage. I'm, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, work together a, a nice video for it since it's my once and only hunt here in Oklahoma for pronghorn. And lucky enough, my uh, friend Nick also got drawn for this hunt. And we're also, uh, he's friends with another guy that got drawn for the hunt, so maybe I'll get even more footage, who knows, but I got that hunt to look forward to, and my girlfriend also got drawn for a deer hunt here in uh, Oklahoma as well, so hopefully I can get in there and video some of that for you guys, so. Anyways, that's my question. Uh, if you guys got any answers or comments, please leave a comment. Uh, I really appreciate it, thanks.